So those are the, the types of things that you can do to um, build brand awareness on, on social media. So um, we, we'll mention here quickly just some of the key metrics and, and how you can measure um, brand awareness on social media. So we'll start off with impressions. So impressions is obviously how many times your ad appears and it's you can only measure impressions on ads. You can't measure it on organic sort of free content. Um, so impressions is how many times your ad appears and that's where you would see it in Facebook Insights and um, in your ads manager if you're running Facebook, Facebook ads. You can also look at things like engagement. So engagement is basically how many people interact with your posts or your page. So a way to measure engagement is you know, interactions. So the amount of people that interacted with that post divided by the amount of people that seen it multiplied by 100. So um, you got 100 likes, for example, um, and 1,000 people seen it. You know, your engagement rate is 10%. And that can be a good indication as to how your brand awareness is increasing. Mentions, so how many people have mentioned you, and you can use some premium tools we'll talk about to, to measure the mentions. Reach is probably the key one um, in terms of brand awareness. How many people have seen your posts? How many people have seen your ads? How many people have seen your pages? Um, share of voice is brand exposure and you know how many people are, are talking about you or are mentioning you. Sentiment is basically the attitude and feelings people have about your brand, which can be measured by some of the premium tools here we'll, we'll mention now. So like Brand24 will mention how positive or negative your brand feels on, on social media or how people are, are commenting and talking about it. Um, you can use Facebook Insights to measure reach. Um, share of voice, you can use Brand Watch and Brand24 and Sprout Social to measure share of voice. Engagement, you can use Facebook Insights, Twitter Analytics, uh, LinkedIn Analytics, Instagram Analytics to measure your engagement rate, how many people interact with your posts. Um, so these are some of the, the social media monitoring tools that you can use to measure that brand awareness. And you know, um, you know, they can be as complicated or as, as easy as, as as you want to delve into. So that's it, really. And um, we have two short case studies um, in terms of how to of of people that have, you know, gone through this sort of brand awareness. Um, one international one and one local one. So the, the the international one is is Ralph Lauren. Um, so the fashion brand wanted to build brand awareness among millennials, so anyone born between usually 1981 and 1986. And they wanted to build brand awareness among that audience for its 50th anniversary um, collections and, and fashion collections. So the brand um, focused on Instagram and Facebook and did in-feed in feed video ads to showcase their products as well as Instagram stories to showcase their products and they had a, a, an amazing response you know they increased brand awareness significantly in markets all across the world but they also increased online sales by 18 percent and saw a, a return of for every one pound invested in social media ads returned seven pounds, so a really good ad spend. So they used social media tools to increase brand awareness among their key target market through video ads and um, showcasing their products. So a really good sort of example. A local example then we have is Babokush. Babokush is a, basically it's a vibrating pillow for babies. You know, it, it simulates the, uh, maybe the, the, the mummy's chest or the, the daddy's chest um, and you can put some babies who are maybe unsettled or if, if the mum needs to maybe do stuff, um, which I'm sure all new mums are extremely busy and they can they can leave the baby strapped into this vibrating pillow and it's soothing action. So they were just new to the market. They developed this product and they were keen to drive awareness of it through um, all new mums, potential new mums, and they wanted to let as many people of that market know about this product and its and its features and its benefits. So they targeted females of uh, typical mum ages via Facebook and Instagram. They ran ads, but they also put out organic videos, and the organic videos were really emotive. Um, they showed babies, 
you know, crying, crying heavily, and then being placed on this product and immediately stopping crying. So it was a really innovative um, product, but a really innovative and convincing way to showcase the product. And the product it exploded. Their 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 campaign went viral and it had two million video views on on Facebook. It was picked up by American TV networks and it led to an overall you know increase in you know 900% in in sales. So a really really good example there as to how you can use social media to build brand awareness if you get the content right and the right people targeted.